So this is my mother, Lola Roberts, and um, she is the was the second eldest, and then Mum's in a eldest sister passed away, and my mum has the rightful place as the next in line as the eldest of the Whitbull tribal people of the Whitbull. Hello. This is my mum. Hello. 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 He's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm from his mum. And I'm Weaver Elder. There's my mum. Thank you, Mum. And um, I just want to say that um, I'm so proud of my daughter. Uh, in what she achieved and what she's doing, and how she can um, also make a, a headway in life for maybe us, maybe to, um, the government is doing wrong, and we all know that. And sometimes, at, at times like this, we need a voice. But we Hello, don't David. need the voice. Oh, I'm running after Jake the sound there. I've got about. a voice. And so all we need is for everyone to please think before you leave. Because it's very, very hard for us to fight against the government ourselves. But if we had some input, if we had some our followers, we would make a great nation. But if we're gonna keep on listening to the government, lying, Cheating, it's all about land, money. And so these things all come into perspective order for the government, not for us. So we need this a chance for us to make a headway. Now we've got to make a change. And if we don't change now, we're gone. We're doomed. You, me, everyone. So we just don't want, we don't want this voice, we don't want a treaty, we don't want the constitution, we just don't want, this is what we want. I'm not with that. Sorry. Um, look, um, start. Does, does anyone know about the about the voice. Mm. Yeah. You all know what yeah. it means and what's a, Yeah, okay. Well, I'm this fighting. is um, something that we don't get. Yeah. Hello. Because so we go ahead and say, well. yes. Yeah. I might, um, I might put a microphone so for um, and just um, put the mic That's what they got. Because it's not working yet. Yeah. So when, you, yeah. when your turn to speak, okay. Okay. I'll do that. Right. Uh, yeah. Look, yeah, I had to do that at another. Well. Yeah, I love you all, no, I, and I God that, bless you. But uh, please, <laughs> think before you leave. Okay. Because if the government has been lying so all the time, so we're just sick of it. Yes. You know, enough is enough. Yeah. You know, how many Prime Ministers that, that we went through you can hear the to get a right? I can, right. yeah. And if we don't get a right, what have we got? Mm. We've got a wrong oh, just put, keep in mind that, you know, we are the First Nation people and we've been out there since day one struggling. And so was our, our mothers, our forefathers, our foremothers. They've been struggling all these years and uh, to fight the government. And we can't do it alone. But we need our Australian people behind us. Thank you, Say. Thank you very much. So what I'm here, um, what I'm going to do at first is that I need to show you something. So as you know, you've got a treaty and you've got a voice. There's two different things here that we're dealing with. So one, a treaty can only be done between sovereign to sovereign. A treaty cannot be done with a corporation or anything non-living. A corporation is a dead corpse, it's a corporation. So you cannot, as a sovereign, treaty with a corporation. Doesn't make sense. In 1973, the Australian 
well, as you know, through the EU 71, there was the EU, the UN, and everything they come into. It's so it, it, it's so complex. But they done a deal, and Australia became a part of it when under the Gulf Wheatland in 1973 with the EU UN, and then they established their um, Australian corporation. But through that process, they committed treason because they didn't hold a referendum in 73. So everything they've done from 73 up until to 2023 is unlawful, illegal in this country. And Australians need to know the truth of what's actually going on here. We could actually lodge a, a class action against them because they owe the Australian people so much money that it would send them bust and pack in their bags and out of this country. Is that what we want? Yes, we do. But there needs to be accountability in this country because what we're looking at right now is that they're asking for a voice because they can't treaty, because they're a corporation and we're sovereign. They're asking the Australian people through this voice, using our people as the guinea pigs here, as the puppets, making you feel sorry for them, making you feel emotionally blackmailing you, saying if you do not say yes, then you're a racist. Well, I'm telling you, you need to make up your own mind and need to know the truth about what you're saying yes to. You have to make your own decision about, you know, this voice. You need to get the information, first-hand information. You need to be questioning. So why are they asking Australians to say yes to something that's about us as First Nations people? That's the first thing you need to be questioning. Why are they asking you? Why can't we make our own decisions? Why can't they come with to us and consult with us and ask us, okay, you mob, what do you want? But there has not been any consultation. They have just picked and choose who they want in the forefront on media. Because mainstream media, remember, they don't tell you the truth. They, they, that's Rupert Murdoch, you know. This is a corporation controlling the mainstream media. Anything corporate with government, everything like that cannot be trusted, even mainstream media. So get off the TVs because they're lying to you. That's a start. They don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to know that we have not been consulted. You ask anybody in the Bundjalung Nation, have we been consulted as a people? And never guess what they'll tell you. Do you think we've been consulted? No, we haven't. So how is it like a native title? So they go out and they put native title over your country, right? So native title is just trickery. The voice is the same way. It's like, you know, it's just a title, but there's trickery involved in it. See, native title don't give you back. They, they make my people believe that they get their land back. You've got to get back their land, but this one here's a land grab of everything. This is central banking, digital currency coming into existence. This is one world order. This is new world order. If the Australian people are to say yes, to something like this and not knowing the outcome, the, the, the consequences of what's going on here, see, they're, they're using my people, they're using the voice, they're making you feel sorry, boo-hoo on TV, crying. These people that are sitting there, these corporate blacks are getting paid millions in their pocket, they don't care about us. So let's just get that out on the table. These people are being paid mm, a lot of money to push this agenda, this new world agenda for corporates. They want you to feel sorry for us. Don't feel sorry for us because we're sick of the end outs. We're sick of the briberies. We're sick of the pity. Don't feel sorry for us. We don't want your pity. We need truth and justice in this country for all humanity. The only way we can make a difference in, in regards to this is we need to educate. We need to explain to them the difference between a treaty is sovereign to sovereign. The voice that's what they named it because they can't treat it, because they're a corporation. This government doesn't want to be held accountable from 73. I don't know if you know, but there's, a, there's an international court case going in, on and Australia's in trouble. They need your help, Australia. They need to make up for what they've done in 73, committing treason against the Crown, and they need to clean up their act, and they're coming to you. So they're coming to you to commit genocide against First Nations people for the biggest corporate land grab you could possibly imagine in this country. We will lose our rights. We can no longer protect you as First Nations people. This is what's coming. They will then cease your private lands, your assets, your bank accounts. That's what's coming. 
All they need from the Australian people is a yes. And this is what they don't want to tell you. Now, I'm on a mission to tell the people the truth about what this referendum is about. If you go through your constitution, you'll have a look. You get their new little pocket edition. I, I, uh, I rang up Kevin Hogan's office and I was like, can I get a box of co um, um, your box of pocket edition constitution, please, for the people? Because the last rally we had, I asked all the people, has anybody read their constitution? I said, anybody who read your constitution, put your hand up. No one put their hand up. No one's read their own constitution. If you was to get that constitution and you was to put it to the original founding constitution under the monarch, you will see the difference from a corporation, from the monarch, from the commonwealth. They have halted, they have, they have watered it down, they have done a lot of damage. It's not the same of the founding. Like, like Uncle Dudley was saying, what they've done is they've pushed the original founding constitution of this country under monarch, which I don't, I don't, I, don't, I want the whole thing abolished, to tell you the truth. That's how I feel, because these constitutions committed genocide in this country against my people. There is nothing good in these constitutions. So in 73, 1967, when they held the referendum, you think that was a good thing? That was a census, right? That was going to give our people the rights to, what, vote and become citizens, what, in our own country? We became citizens. Uh, we already came from here. But yet they had a referendum. See, that, that's, wasn't, that's what it wasn't about. Through that, consti through that referendum, what they did, they amended the constitution and they struck out clauses. They struck out tribal rights. They struck, struck out, we became a race. That's when it began, you know. Not just from colonial settlement, but they started striking, striking out who we were as a people. That's when the Australian Corporation came into existence, eventually. See, everything, and that was all labour. Labour from 67, labour when it's 71, with the EU, UN, coming up. And you know what? Who was determining and making decisions when Uncle Neville Bonner and he came into power and, and became a senator? The first Aboriginal senator in this country was 1971, Uncle Neville Bonner. You know that? You familiar with that? He was making, before then, who was making the decisions? I can say, but I'm not here to, to cause, you know, division like the government's good at, divide and conquer, you know, race, colour, religion, gender, whatever, you name it, mask, unmask, vax, unvax. See, they're good at this. They've been planning and doing this for a very long time and it's time for Australians to wake up to their regime, controlling we don't want to be a communist society, but that's where it's heading. We're going to be end up in, 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 in these communist camps, you know, because we, if you rebel against them, this is what's coming, Australia. Peoples. Bari in language, you say Bari. Can you say Bari, Baris? Bari mean people. But this is what's coming, and this is why I'm out and about and on a mission to stop a referendum. Because the people are not telling them. You ask any of them mob that are campaigning the yes mob and tell, have a look what they'll say. They don't know. They're just being paid money, you mob. They don't even know what, what they're saying yes to because they're being paid to tell you, to, to lie to you, to say yes. So in the meantime, we have a plan. Because the only way we can move forward in this country is...
So if I, anyone good reader? So we're starting. This is the Widget Book Treaty. And uh, Naomi, may I have a volunteer, please? So we come up with a way to stand and fight against government um, corporations. We won't call them government because they're not a government. They're actually they're acting, you know, um, in these fights. What do you call them? They're, yeah, it's fictitious. It's the um, What is it? Oh no. Okay. Is cool? Yeah. But we're dealing with a with a with a corporation that has done wrong to everybody, not just to my people. Now they're doing wrong to the Australian people. So this is where all the Australians need to stand up together and we need to unite First Nations and Australians together saying no to this referendum. We have a big job to come up, um, we have a big job to do because if we allow this referendum to go ahead, we're all in trouble. My people are in trouble, you are in trouble, and we'll have no control in this country. Martial law will be introduced. I don't mean to put fear in your mob, but this is what's coming. And if Australians don't wake up now to what they where this country is heading, we're here to tell you first thing where it's going. See, I don't just come to the people. The only time I rise up is when spirit has laid something in my heart. And I'm a woman of spirit. I walk in spirit. You know, I'm not out there in the pubs and clubs and drinking around and drugging around and all of that. I don't have time for that. I'm out on the land praying for my country. I have a job to do as a First Nations people and all the people who do well upon our lands have to be protected. And that's what we do as First Nations people. We have a duty of care. We can't change history of how we all come to be here. But we can learn to live together and share this land together. But we have to do it together. We can't do this alone. I need you, my people need you, and we need, you know, we, and you need us. Because the only way we're going to win this battle is in unity. Set your differences aside, I don't care about your colour, I don't care if you're black, white, brindle, pink, green, I don't care what your colour is because Creator Spirit has no colour. Creator Spirit's no gender. Spirit is spirit. And this is what we all have got to learn because we have been lied to from generations to generations about your history, who you are, where you come from. But at the end of the day, we were all one people, united, our ancestors stood beside one another, fought beside one another until a colonial evil force came that went through the sea, seas and ripped up every tribal continent. Tore our ancestors from their homelands. No one asked to use your ancestors to be put on ships, taken away to foreign countries, learning how to live again, to become slaves, convicts, whatever you want. Nobody asked for any of this. So it's time for the Australian people to unite. Nobody asks for them to come here, murder my people, rape our women, kill our babies, nothing. Ship them off overseas, never to see your ancestors again. Nobody asks for any of this, but we can only change this together to stop this referendum for what's coming. These are darker days, my friends. This is what's at our doorstep. Creators laid it upon my heart. I have a job to do, because I serve the Master, I serve the Great Spirit, I serve my ancestors and I have a job to do to tell the truth. I'm not here to bullshit to any of you, I have a job to do for Spirit. This is a warning sign, this is, this is a wake up call for all, you should have learned all this through COVID, but they're here again, they're back again and they're at it again, but this time using my people for you to feel sorry, for you to say yes. Thinking it's a good thing, it's not. It's a biggest land grab for control that you could ever possibly imagine. There's nothing good in this referendum at all. Keep that in mind. This is the other thing. Um, what is, oh, what do you so, so I wanted to share with you. Did you want to read this? I would like you to read this, if, if that's all right. I, or do you want me to read it? Okay. Would you call the Tribal Nations Treaty? We, the undersigned tribes and families of our respective tribal nations, hereby acknowledge, recognise, respect and support the national sovereignty and territorial integrity of Wittibal. The rights of the Wittibal people to self-determination, the rights of the Wittibal people to protect, defend and conserve and keep their culture and laws and rights. Okay. Well, you don't have 
agree to uphold our diplomatic relations with Wijibul with respect and peace. That the rights of all the people dwelling upon Wijibul lands are protected under Wijibul tribal jurisdiction. That's important that we're all a part of this. Because the only people that can protect you right now are First Nations from what's coming. But the only thing that can protect us is, is for the Australian people to say no to a referendum. We're all in trouble here. So we need to unite, we need to educate, we need to get the message out there. What this, so I'll explain to you what this is about. Widjibul is started the first treaty amongst all the tribes of the Bundjalung Nation. So we'll be up about getting all the other Bundjalung tribes, all the, all the nations to sign this treaty in support. And then when the other tribes, Lewis Walker is starting his treaty, so we as Widjibul people will sign their treaty. So we are building up a fort, uh, a fortress that we can keep a corporation out. If we can't stop them, they're gonna rig it. They own the whole system. So if they want this referendum, they're gonna rig it anyway, with or without us. Because we're up against the evil force that wants one thing, the resources, we're all in their way. First Nations are in their way. They wanna dig up this country and they wanna turn it into a quarry. And we're not, we're not welcome to sit at that table because it's only for the wealthy, it's only for the rich, it's only for the globalists and the elites. We're not a part of it, we're slaves. Whether you like it or not, you're a slave. This is modern day slavery. And they need to be, we need to be start educating our children about the truth. We need to pull them out of their system because they're not teaching your children in the, even in the curricular system, right, to survive and how to live. They're teaching your kids to be consumed. They're teaching them everything about what they need to do to be rich and what they need in their life and buy and all this stuff to consume stuff. They're not teaching your kids how to live on the land, how to survive, how to hunt, how to fish. They're not teaching your kids any of the, the basic things that they need to learn in their life. The most important thing that a child should be learning is survival. How to hunt, how to light a fire, how to fish, how to gather. But they're not teaching any of that. Can you see, put your kid in the bush and see if your kid can survive that in the bush? They wouldn't be able to. Because they're being taught to be distracted. Their minds are distracted by all these other things that they have created for our children. All the technology, that is a distraction because they don't want your kids educated. Uh, they don't want your kids, is that right? Educated in the wrong way. Sorry, did I get the wrong way there? They don't want your kids to know the truth. They don't want them to learn their ways nor that they, that they can continue to, to control them as slaves. Your children will be a generation that's a slavery system, just. And it's been slavery since day one, since the colonial settlement. Everyone's been slaves and they haven't even realised and woken up, recognised it. We are actually slaves, my people, my friends. So what we need to do is to empower this treaty, because this is what we need to be doing to protect this country. So what I need to do, when they came to sign their treaty for their country, as you know, they're fighting them in central Queensland against the Dani. If you haven't been there, this is what we need to be, you know, they're, they're struggling against a, a, a big mining company on their country. They're protecting it. And they're, 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 but if, if something like a referendum comes through, then their fight will be in vain because all Australians said yes to something that we didn't want in this country. We are the 3% of the rights in you, the majority, something that we don't want in this country. We want a treaty, they can't give it to us. The Crown has been dismissed. They committed treason in 73, so we can't treat it. We haven't got no monarch, we can't treat it. You can only treat your sovereign to sovereign. And we can't treat it with a corporation, so treaty is out of it. The only way we can, we can win this fight is that, this battle, is that the tribes need to treat it with one another throughout the country. So if we were to if, if we were to get all the Bundjalung nation and all the Bundjalung tribes to treaty with each other, then we are a force to be reckoned with to keep a corporate government out of our country. And this is what I'm working on right now. Lord Senator I've got wind of it. I brought, I brought, I brought it to I've spoken to my other uncles, I've, I've spoken to Nathan Wolf, I've spoken to Benjamin. They're all willing to do up their treaties so we can protect the people that dwell upon our lands. We have a responsibility as First Nations people to look after all the people that dwell upon our lands. This is my fight right now. This is my responsibility to make sure we 
you get the word and the message out there. I'll fight for you, Mom, but you need to fight for us too. And this is where we're at. So don't be fooled by this referendum. It's not good for you and your children, and it's not good for me and my people. Oh, really?